hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna go through or about or around Far Cry 6 and let's do some benchmarking uh, the reason being first of all this is a brand new title dropped literally from the shells of Ubisoft what yesterday probably and the requirements for graphics are quite uh, to be honest quite high so um, you know I have a 1080 Ti and i5 96k Everything is stock, none of them is overclocked, so I think we can just uh, do a quick benching of low, medium, high, ultra on full HD, and then we're gonna move up to 4040p, suit fine. Might be a lengthy video though, I'll try to put some timestamps down below, no promises there, but you know, it is how it is. So, what we have is full HD. I uh, see that I have 1080 Ti. Uh, the quality currently is everything is on low. Uh, motion blur will be on. I know, guys, you don't like it, but you know we need to be consistent. So uh, and fidelity cast is off, obviously. So let's just uh, hit test and benchmark and uh, see where we end up here. Just a quick disclaimer, we are running off from an uh, NVMe drive, so I'm kind of curious to see the performance here. So results are adjusting, as we can see the minimum frames you get is 69, average is 114, so we're hitting that 100 sweet spot. And to be fair, it's not actually that bad at the same time, let's be honest, this is uh, pretty much the low settings for 1080p. Also, I don't see too many nice graphs when it comes to GPU usage, RAM usage and CPU usage while the benchmark is running, so... For the next one, which is going to be medium settings, uh, you guys are going to see MSI Afterburning running on the top left corner. And we're going to take a look there. So here we are with the medium settings. As you can see, MSI is displaying nicely over there. I'm using the presets for the quality. I'm literally not toggling any of these on or off, uh, just for consistency's sake. So, yeah, this is on medium. Advanced settings, you can see vertical sync is off. And, well, basically that's... All there is so let's go ahead and take a look uh, full HD or 1080p medium settings with MSI after burning running up And what we see, again, we did take a hit in terms of minimum frames, so we're no longer at 69, it's 56 now. Uh, still, to be honest, the average frames is 96, so obviously as the settings go up, the performance will kind of go down a bit. And yeah, we'll just uh, go for the high settings now. 
So here we are with the high settings. Let's just double check everything is set on high. So everything is on high, which is very good. Stand settings still. Vertical sync is off. Frame like lock is off as well. And we're good to go. Still 1080p though. But, uh, well, you know, the usual. We are pulling 11, almost 12 gigs of RAM just now and only 4.5 of GPU, so I hope that's going to change. So the minimum frames has taken a hit again. The average is still actually pretty decent. I do believe we're going to be close to 60 at an ultra settings quality, but so far it's actually not too bad to be completely honest. So I'm not entirely sure what uh, the people are talking about. However, this is Ubisoft title, so you know, just hang on. Anyway, let's uh, go and get prepared for the ultra settings. So here we are with the outer settings. I do know that probably it kind of annoys you guys hearing this all the time, but once I'm doing the cuts when I'm editing this, in terms of putting it together, I kind of want to know which comes after which. So there's uh, quite a few clips, obviously. Uh, so anyway, continuing on, quality is ultra now. Uh, looks pretty good. Fidelity cast is still off. Well, DXR reflections. I do believe this is gonna kill the card, but you know, we'll, we'll play around with that, I promise. So, Ultra, Full HD, let's go for the test. And as expected, we are kind of down on minimum for 41. Now, the average frames uh, hanging around 79. I do believe it's not exactly true because uh, closer to the end, as you can see, this graph here shows 60 frames, which is the highly populated area with a lot of explosions on the screen. So that's basically what we're going to have. Now, it's a bit weird that the video memory is being used only 3.81 as opposed to more. For a simple reason, I do have HD texture pack installed and downloaded for this game, which is enabled, I believe. So, um, I would expect to be to use more than 3.8 gigs. I mean, that is something very odd, but uh, let's just... Uh, let's leave this on Ultra as it is. Let's just go for resolution itself and uh, jump straight back in because, you know... We if we're aiming for the stars, let's just do it properly. So everything is still on ultra. The only difference is the resolution change and... So, okay, so it says enable this option for a performance boost, right? So... I 
let's let's give it a run uh, with the current settings now and we will play it. we will just toggle this to see if there's any any actual difference so let's just go for it i guess So as you can see now, so the average frames are kind of sitting on 61, which is something that I kind of expected to happen. The minimum are on 30, so, you know, console players rejoice, you're not going to get less than 30 frames. Which is actually overall a pretty good score, I would say. And again, this is a 4040p or 2K resolution on Ultra, and it actually works. Now, we need to go and uh, play around with the Fidelity Cast. And now it doesn't really change much in terms of the video memory which is weird but you know oh well and we're gonna go for ultra quality just to put a bit more strain on the card so basically just need to make sure everything applies apparently this game applies everything without needing to be restarted which is kind of nice for a change at the same time i'm not entirely sure that that's exactly how it will work but we'll see later on so here we go and let's just do it And here we are and to be honest at the very beginning it kind of did improve the frames a bit but at the end as you can see right here in the graph it literally bombed the frames once that explosion and the, the from the molto took place so that's not exactly you know what i was expecting but hey here we are now one more setting i do believe we kind of need to play around um would be the one of the quality tabs i think dxr reflections now i do believe that this is still the cast okay i think this is what we needed uh i can't enable dxr shadows i do believe this is rtx feature which is weird because i do believe forzone even allowed that but this card does not have it, so I'm, I'm not really surprised that I cannot enable it. Uh, let's just make sure everything else is fine. Ultra quality, resolution, and the cast is now there as well. So let's just go for the benchmark real quick, and we'll wrap this up.
know, overall the, the frames almost didn't change really. Uh, the only difference that I noticed is again the same drop right at the end when that Molotov is thrown, it kind of tanks the frames. So since this is synthetic benchmark, I do believe if you are in a very big firefight in 2k, everything maxed out with 10, uh, 1080 Ti and you have i5, I do believe you might actually get below 60 because those explosions do look nice but they definitely tank the graphics card a bit and yeah he basically here you have it this is the far cry 6 uh, all settings basically full hd low to ultra and 2k ultra plus with some tweaks i do hope you guys enjoyed it and it was informative for some of you uh, obviously you can tweak the settings any way you want this is a far cry game and i must say it kind of looks like far cry 5 you know just just a hunch anyway that's all i have for you guys today thanks for watching and you know have a good one see you next time